Hey guys, welcome back to my shop space and what we're gonna be doing today is a little update video on the garage. We're gonna be tidying the place up a little bit because it is disgustingly messy in here. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get cleaning because man, I've just been throwing stuff everywhere in here. Also, on a side note, I was able to acquire a new aluminum jack, so I don't have to use my dad's 70 year old steel jack anymore. I'm excited about this, hell yeah. Nice. All right, well, when you just start out, you don't have much money, you don't really have too much to invest in this new business endeavor, you have to be resourceful and I found this shelf right here on the side of the road that someone was throwing out and it was free, obviously, someone's gonna throw it out. So what I'm gonna use this for is so that I can clear more space off my workbench. To everyone out there who is trying to start a new business endeavor, who's trying to do stuff like this, you just have to be resourceful. It doesn't have to be the prettiest stuff. I mean, it's just some old wooden shelf, but hey, this is something that's free that I can absolutely use towards my business. So if you're doing the same thing, be resourceful. Take a look at you know, when you're driving down the street, see what people are throwing out. Go in the free section of Craigslist, see what kind of things are out there. If you need something basic like shelves, you can always find stuff for free. So keep your eyes out. This is gonna be super useful. All right, so we just moved a whole bunch of stuff around, showed you guys a shelf over here. Now what we're gonna be doing is selling some stuff. And uh, yes, this car right behind me here, the Nissan that you guys saw me pick up not too long ago, and I did a little episode one on of me picking it up. We're actually getting rid of it and it's kind of bittersweet and it was a car that I was going to be touching here probably within the next year or two. I know that <sighs> here's the story on this car. I bought this car just outside my shop that I'm in right now. It was abandoned or so I thought it was anyways and I bought the car from the landlord. Well come to find out someone actually still owned the car. So I am selling this back to the original owner. That sounds stupid and weird I know but I'm selling this back to the original owner and um, yeah so I sold that, ended up making some money off of it because I was storing it here in my facility. So that's actually gonna be gone and out of here. So that's gonna clean up the back of the shop. And then also, if you guys remember, over here on this wall, we had a couple sets of rims lined up all the way down. And we actually sold both of those sets of rims. They were both super cheap. Actually, I got both of those sets of rims for free. So I sold them for like 50 bucks a piece because I didn't have any use for them and uh, just wanted to get them out of the shop so that we can make some room. So got someone coming to pick up those ones right there. And then earlier today, we actually just had someone pick up the other set. So we are cleaning things up, making things a little bit more tidy. What I'm going to do is also get a few more tarps so that I can line them up on the side of the poles here so that we can completely block off my space. Then I'm also going to get a few more sets of curtains. That way we can completely block off the front of this building. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep moving stuff around, keep selling some stuff so we can make some money and finish up the shop. So after doing all that work that you guys just saw and then some, this is what we're working with here at the shop. So first things first, you just saw me walk through some curtains. Um, it's the cheapest way for me to really block off my space just with some curtains here. And unfortunately they are mismatched, but anyway, 
does block off my area a little bit. And then of course, going along with that, we were able to put up our tarps. Now, if you saw my earlier videos, this tarp right here was actually pulled down and folded because I only had one, but now that I have three, I was able to pull them all the way up and fully block off my area, which is nice. And this is actually gonna help me out a lot in the winter time so we can kind of keep my space a little bit warmer because there is no heat in this warehouse that at least keep my space a little bit warmer. As you can see, we're a little bit more open in here now. We don't have as much going on. The biggest thing that's missing, as you guys can see, is the Nissan that was sitting in the back. But I decided to sell that, create some room, and actually use that money towards the projects that I have right now because I have so many projects. Big thing that's standing out right now is we have the Ninja. We have part one that's already up on YouTube. I'll go ahead and throw a card up here so that you can watch that if you haven't seen it yet. But this right here in all these boxes is exactly what we need to finish the motorcycle, which is really exciting. So stay tuned for part two, and hopefully this Ninja right here will actually be done. We're gonna have to give it a good cleaning, throw those fairings back on, but for the most part, we are pretty much ready to go and ready to rock and roll with this thing. Not really too sure what I'm gonna be doing with this yet. I really wanna keep it. That's the Ninja, we're gonna be finishing that up, getting that on the road, getting that out of here. and. This is my workbench, and as you can see, it's a lot more cleared off than what it was before. This was all cluttered with ZX7 parts that we took off in order to drop the engine out of it, so we're gonna go ahead and go over there in a second, but anyway, we went ahead and cleaned off this workbench because if you look over here, we have a ZX7R engine that has been fully dropped and it is ready to be pulled apart to see what the main issue is, and I wanted to make sure that it had some workbench space cleared off, that way when we take stuff off and everything else like that, I have some space to work, so we went ahead and cleared that off. Nonetheless, we have space now for the workbench, which is great. Let's go ahead and move to the back. Uh, so over here, as you guys uh, heard me say earlier or saw in the video, this I got for free. Someone was throwing it out on the side of the road and I went ahead and took it because I needed some stuff to put like my oil on, uh, cleaner, chain lubricant, spray paint, all that kind of thing. And it actually worked out perfectly. It was all piled up in the corner over there, but now we have it all piled up on the shelf, which is great. As you also see me get, I got a uh, new jack. Continuing in the back here, you'll see that I put up some shelves, which is great. Now I don't have to put all my fairings, my ZX-7R fairings for both of these motorcycles on the ground. So now they're up there, they're not gonna get kicked around, they're not gonna get chipped up anymore as far as the paint goes, so that's good. Those are some makeshift shelving and that was all free. The boards that you see that are supporting it are actually shelves that were from this. And then uh, my parents had some old wire, metal wire uh, shelves laying around that I actually just grabbed and used for free because they were going to toss them. So that worked out really good. As you can see, we have the two ZX7Rs back here that are waiting to be touched. This one's looking like a skeleton because the engine is on the workbench over there. And let me tell you, I was really hoping that I could get this done before the end of summer because all I want to do is ride it. However, I have been so busy lately, so many projects, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this done before the end of the season. I'm going to push, I'm going to try, but it's just been so busy lately, so it's been really difficult for me to get to it. So anyway, this one's going to be for me. As you guys know, that's part of the build series. Again, I'll link up the build up here. And then this one right here is the parts bike. What I'm planning on doing with this parts bike is actually fixing it up and selling it when I'm all done with this one because I pretty much have another complete motorcycle and I want that to be used because it does not deserve to be sitting around. So after I'm done with this one, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the other one. Hopefully I can get that finished up. Two pairs of ZX-7Rs that are waiting to be touched. And then over here in the back, we have some parts for the last project that is on this channel right now and that's for my Hyundai Tiburon. Now, if you watch my parts overhaul video, that's a carbon fiber hood that I got for the Tiburon and actually you guys haven't seen that yet and I'm not gonna give you a close up because you guys haven't seen it yet and it's supposed to be a surprise. So don't look at that. <laughs> Guess it's a little too late, but anyway. And then the last thing that we did here in the update video on the workshop is we have another workbench, which is fantastic. This is a workbench that actually my dad and I uh, built together last winter, um, but he was gonna get rid of it because it was just cluttering up space in the garage and we ended up not really using it. So what I did was I went to Harbor Freight 
picked up some uh, wheels for it. And now what I'm gonna use it is a w rolling workbench when I'm doing projects and stuff. So that actually worked out really, really good. Anyways, that is the update video on the garage. Please let me know if you guys have any suggestions and maybe some things that I'm missing that we can go ahead and acquire and put in here. Also, stay tuned for all the updates that you're gonna be seeing on all these builds, the ZX6R, the ZX7R, and the Tiburon because I have a lot planned. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.